So my face is already washed, moisturized, all that stuff. I'm just gonna start out with the foundation and I'm using the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour foundation and mine's in the shade light beige at five. I'm taking my beauty blender, which I have already dampened and it has already started drying. And I'm not really using a primer today, but I'm using my favorite moisturizer, which is mattifying. And it always leaves kind of like a nice film on my skin. It kind of like helps it stick, helps the foundation stick to my face. And it does like kind of hide my pores. I'm going to be using two concealers today. I'll be putting the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer, which you can't see anything in the packaging. It's completely rubbed off in the shade Fair on my blemishes which is pretty much my whole face and then under my eyes I shall be using the 17 stay up to 18 hour time concealer I have talked about this in my monthly favorites and I shall be using this uh, for a very long time until somebody invents a better concealer actually I'm gonna pop it here as well just like brighten up, brighten up, and now I'm just gonna blend the concealer in. I want all the coverage today, all the coverage, guys. I'm not feeling the coverage here, so what I'm gonna do. I have this like sample of a Clinique foundation that I bought and then I changed my mind and I returned it because I didn't like it. But it's like, what's it called? You know the um, Clinique 2 in 1? It's like concealer and a foundation. It was cakey as fuck, but it's good to use as concealer. So I have this like little pot that I got as a sample. And every now and then, when I need loads of coverage, that's what I pile on. And that is what I need today. Now, in case you want to know what I think about the foundation, as I said, it's um, very high coverage, but it just does not look good. Like, it says that it looks flawless, but like you can see, it's just a cake on your face. So I like to use it if I like need to add the coverage, but to wear it on like everyday basis and all over my face, I don't know about that. Now that I've kicked on the foundation, I'm going to kick on even more. I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. Mine's in the shade NW15. And it's not light enough for me, but you know. It is the lightest one they make. And I'm just gonna pile that on under my eyes. I just wanna feel brightened up. I just wanna feel all the brightness under my eyes. I just realized <laughs> on the camera, I look like a crazy person with like white under eyes. But in real life, it doesn't look that bright. Okay, maybe it does. Maybe I'm just crazy. I just want to feel the brightness. To set my under eye, I'm trying out this new uh, collection sheer loose powder because um, I bought the natural collection loose powder because I was basically trying to find like a nice loose powder in a drugstore because I use a lot of that stuff. And the natural collection one was like really, really, really bad. So I want to try the just the brand collection. Let's give this a try. You guys, that looks dark again. Oh, I'm so worried. And what does this look like? It's falling out so slowly. Like, girl wants to set her under eye with this. Let me just. Okay, that's better, that's better. Now, should I use the sponge that came with it? Let's try the sponge. Let's, oh God, I can already see this is way too dark for my under eye. Well, let's do this together. Ah, oh, it's so dark, man. So dark. Oh my god. But there's no going back. I can't have one eye yellow and the other one. Ah, oh, this is so dark. Oh my god. I feel like I want to go with that with a white, white eyeshadow. Oh no. I think it doesn't look like a bad powder, but it's so dark. It's not even funny. How do they sell this to young people? There are so many like pale girls out there that have to deal with this shit. This really bothers me. Well, there goes nothing. I'm just gonna take a powder brush and take whatever's left in the cap 
and just set my whole face even though I'm really really not happy with the color but I want to see how it performs in my face anyways in case it turned out to be like really great powder and then somebody who maybe isn't as pale as I am could use this um, because to be fair guys this powder costs like $1.99 which, if I compare it to the last powder I set my under eyes with, that was like 20 something pounds. So, can you see how dark that is? Oh, <laughs> compared to my face. Oh god, oh god. Okay, update on the powder. I was trying to like bake under my eyes with it, but clearly it was way too dark. Also, when I look at my forehead, it's like really patchy. I don't think you can see it. And it's just so orange. Like, nobody's this freaking colour. In the packaging, it does not look that orange. Like, it does not. It looks like quite a normal colour. So, the collection loose powder, don't buy it. I know it's £1.99, but again, it's a waste of money. I'm just taking my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, and I'm just trying to blend out this mess of a colour. And, like, whatever it's just happening on my face right now. But I guess I'm going to have to live with this colour today. I'm um, going to be an Oompa Loompa. And the thing is, on the camera, it doesn't look that bad. Like, it's not that dark. But you guys, it's dark. So lately, I've been super loving these two shades by Makeup Geek. This one's called Untamed, I believe. As one of their four eyeshadows. And this one's called Bitten. And that's just like, you know, a normal eyeshadow. And I've just been obsessed with using them two on my eyes. So that's what I'm going to do today. So I, kn I know I wanted to do um, my eyes first, but I just found out that my favourite blending brush is dirty, so I had to spot clean it, and I just wait for it to dry, and in the meantime I'm just going to do my contour and like blush and all that. So I've mentioned before that my favourite like contouring powder is the Beauty UK one, but for this look, because I'm going quite warm toned, I'll be using this e.l.f. palette. You can purchase these from the e.l.f. website, I believe. I've had this for the longest time ever. And I used to like love these two shades, but I do love these two for like contouring if I'm creating some kind of like red toned look because they are quite like red toned. Can't really see it on there, but they are. <laughs> so I just take my contouring brush and then I mix the two shades together, tap off the excess. Now it doesn't look that bad on the camera, but I'm so orange in real life. <laughs> oh my god. Thank god my camera like lowers the saturation automatically or I think it like the color balance also helps so I just turn the white balance to uh, natural lighting and can you now see how freaking orange I am compared to my body can you now see what this freaking powder has done to me I'm just gonna leave this like this even though it looks ridiculous at least you can see what my skin really looks like and what this powder will do to you now, I'm not sure if I can live with this colour, but let's see. I'll also take just my Rimmel powder on this like flat foundation brush, and then I'll just kind of sharpen my contour. So trying to make my face look less orange. Let's just pretend that it's all blush. <laughs> ah! Keeping it real, guys, yo, keeping it real. You know what, I'll have to go outside looking like this, so if you meet me today, it's not my fault, it's the collection powder. And what I'm gonna do, and now you're gonna think I'm crazy, but like I really feel really orange. I'm gonna take this Makeup Geek white eyeshadow in the, sh in the color White Lies, and I'm taking on the foundation brush as well. And I'm just gonna like put this under my eyes. I need to brighten this up. I look so orange, it's not even funny. Oh, that's better, that's better. I really don't want to wait for the brush to dry any longer. I'm sick of this. I've already done my contour highlight and everything. I'll be using the angled shadow brush by Real Techniques. And I'm taking some of the colour, this bitten colour. And it'll be probably quite a lot. Tap off the excess. And I'm going to start in my inner corner. Again, this is pigmented as fuck. So I'm going like quite light handed. And I'm taking it like down onto like my lower lash line as well a little bit see the the reason why i like to use the more free brushed one that i've been waiting for 
it to dry is because it blends our shadows really well and because this is so pigmented it's sometimes really hard to blend out like if you put on too much which that can happen really easily with this one okay now that I've kind of placed the bases of the colors I'm just taking like a little smaller blending brush a little bit of the color again and I'm just gonna start taking it to my inner corner As you can see, it's blended out quite nicely. I've just been basically just blending it in the past five minutes. And what I'm gonna do next is to make sure that it's blended nicely here. I'm gonna take a brush like this, it's like a concealer buffing in brush. And I'm gonna take the shade White Lies again. And I'm gonna start putting that onto my brown bone and like blending it into the shade Bitten. What do you call this colour? It's like burgundy wine colour. Now, this has blended really nicely, but obviously because I've been blending, I have blended away some of the colour. So I'm just going to go back in. So I'm just going to go back in with the small blending brush and just pack on some colour into the outer corner again. So after blending everything, I zoom you in guys, and I'm just going to pack on the golden colour in the shade Untamed, which is this colour here. Can you see how beautiful that is? So that's the makeup done. Uh, the only thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put some lashes on because I feel like this look deserves like big lashes. And uh, now I'm just trying to pick out a lipstick. I feel like I could use a dark lipstick, but at the same time, I kind of want the eyes to be like the main thing. So I put on this Rimmel Cades lipstick in the shade 113. I feel like it looks good, but I also feel like you can't decide without putting the lashes on first. Okay, all my lashes are applied. I hope they're drying fine. Oh no, they're not drying fine. Okay, lashes are applied. What I did with my lips, I used the Rimmel lipstick previously mentioned. And then I took this Maybelline Color Whisper in the shade 430, which is like a sheer orange color. I just put that in the middle over top of the nude lipstick. 